Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into how we can install Milvis standalone with the help of Docker Compose. So to give you a brief idea, vector DBs are capable of storing the embeddings of the documents so that we can perform the similarity search based on the query that is fired so that we can get the most efficient or I would say the relevant results for a particular query. In the previous video, I already have shown you how we can install Docker onto our system. Now with the help of Docker, we'll install the Milver standalone. So here I'm at the official documentation of how we can install the Milver standalone with the help of Docker Compose. I'll post this link in the description box too. So if we scroll down in here, you can see that for installing the Milver standalone, we'll have to first download this YAML file. Now this YAML file contains the configurations, the dependencies based on which we can install the Milver standalone. So here you can clearly see we can simply click on this download button to, to download the YAML file or we can use this wget command. So here I'm simply clicking on this download button and our download will be started. So here you can see our Milver standalone for Docker YAML file has got successfully downloaded. Let me open this YAML file. And here for installing the Milver standalone will require three things, three services. First is etcd, second is min.io, and the third is the standalone server of Milvus. So I have made some modifications in this particular YAML file. You can simply use this as it is. Otherwise, you can use my version of YAML file where I have made some modifications so that we will be using the latest versions as well as I have added few things. We will get this particular changed version of the Docker Compose file in the description box. Otherwise, you can simply use the downloaded file from the Milvers documentation website. So let me quickly give you an overview of what exactly these services are useful for. So the very first is etcd. So what exactly it is? This etcd service is useful for metadata management. Now, what exactly is the use of this etcd in Milvers? So basically it acts as a distributed key value store, which will store the metadata information of the Milvers. What exactly is happening? What is the system state? And what are the configurations present? All these things will be maintained by this etcd. So here you can see the container name will be Milvers etcd. The image name that we are going to pull is this way with this version 3.5.5 and these are the environment variables that I have defined. Next comes the volumes. So basically volumes folder will be created and here all the etcd will be stored. Next a health check is applied which will check the health of the running state of the container. Next comes the min io service. Min io service acts as an object storage system which is similar to your AWS S3 bucket. So if you have worked on AWS, there is a term called as S3 bucket, which acts as an object storage system. Now here, with the help of min.io, the Milvers will store the large amount of data sets, including vector embeddings, indexes, and potentially the raw data. This ensures the data persistence and also the easy retrieval without the performance degradation. So here again, I have defined the container name, the image name, the environment variables, and the port here, the min IO will be running. And in this particular directory, the volumes will be stored. And then again, a health check is applied. Next comes the standalone service. Basically, the standalone service is nothing but a Milvers database, which will use the other two services of etcd and min IO. Our Milvers standalone service will be running on the port 19530. And then we have defined the networks. Here we have set the default network with the name Milvers. So this is an overview of the Docker Compose YAML file. I hope you have got a basic idea of what exactly is included in this particular YAML file. Now that we have seen an overview of this YAML file, we'll simply compose up this particular YAML file so that all our images will be pulled and the containers will start running. So you need to make sure that you have this particular docker compose.yaml file in one folder with any name. Here 
I have given the name Milbus. Simply open the terminal and then you need to type this command. Make sure you are inside the folder where your docker compose.yaml file is present. So you can simply type docker hyphen compose space up space hyphen d and then simply hit enter. Yep, that was expected. Here we have encountered an error. And to resolve this, we'll have to start our Docker desktop. Whenever you need to use any Docker instance, you will have to make sure that your Docker desktop is started. So let me do that. Do you want to check out this attractive funny memes? Then what are you waiting for? These are just a glimpse of the memes that I've created on my Instagram page. You can find the link to my Instagram handle in the description box. Please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes. These are not just memes. These memes and reels contains technical information. Here, I try to relate memes with the technological concepts. So, please do appreciate that by watching all those. And if you love it, please hit the follow button. So, here you can see I have started the Docker desktop application. Currently, you can see there are no containers running as well as if you look at the image tab, we, we don't have any image of the Milvus as well as the Minio and ATCD. So now let's come back to the Docker Compose configuration file. So here, now we can simply run this Docker Compose up hyphen D command and now it has to work. So let's hit enter. And now you can see the images MTCD, MinIO and standalone are now getting pulled. So this will take some time till then we have a coffee break. So here you can see images have got pulled successfully as well as it also has started the containers of the three images with the network mill was established successfully. Also here you can see we have got this volumes folder created. Now just to make sure that your containers are in running state, you can simply use the command docker ps. So here you can see we have these three containers, Milvus DB, MinIO, and the Quay, or I would say the ETCD container is now in running state. You can also check on the Docker desktop, you can see these three images are in running state. Now to check whether our Milvus database is running the port that we have specified in the configuration YAML file, will simply write a small piece of Python code to, to do that. So I have just created a Python file. In this, we'll write some piece of code through which you can see whether our Milvus is running or not. So for that, we'll use one library. So we'll write from PyMilvus. PyMilvus is the library. We'll simply import the connections module. Now, now if you don't have this particular library installed, you can simply you can simply do pip install pymilvus and hit enter. Your library will get installed. There is a function in this particular module that is called as connect. This connect function takes in some arguments. The very first is the default argument. This specifies the default database. Comma, the next is the host. Now, since we are running milvus on our local host, therefore we'll specify the localhost IP that is 127.0.0.1 and then we'll have to specify the port. Now our Milvus is running on the port 19530. We'll also check it in the Docker Compose file. You can see our Milvus standalone is running on the port 19530. We'll simply copy this. So we'll write this 19530 port. Then I'll simply write a print statement just to display the success message, which will execute only if our connection has got established successfully. Now I'll simply execute this particular file, python milv.py and hit enter. So here you can see our connection has got successfully established because of which we can see this message of success. So I hope you have got the entire flow of how we can install the Milvus standalone using the Docker Compose in an easiest way. 
you can check the link to the AML file in the description box. I'll provide all the necessary links in the description box. So do check that. With the help of this Milvus database, we are going to do a lot of wonders in the upcoming videos. We'll be doing multiple things related to generative AI. We'll be using this Milvus database to construct the RAG pipelines, that is the retrieval augmented generation pipelines. So stay tuned for all these things. We'll also see the insights of this particular Milvus database. So stay tuned for all these things. I hope you enjoyed. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.